Hello, everyone. Warm greetings from Georgia. I am Elena Schallenberze. I am very glad to see you. I'm sure we will have an unforgettable day. We have amazing young speaker today, and we are looking forward to their remakeable talk and presentation. Today is a really amazing day. We will hear the voice of European youth from Georgia and from Azerbaijan. Oh my God, this is a wonderful fact. Thank you the project leaders Inga Harchulawa and especially Mr. Peush Pandit for this opportunity. A big thank you to everyone who joined us live today and to those who are watching later for our amazing session today. All it is with great pleasure that I introduce you to IIU, International Internship University. It's a leading virtual education system and global brand confederation, which is the most valuable and trust worldwide and well reputed in developing innovative programs. Globally, it is a trust name for quality training programs and is committed to providing better and virtual education to all the young learners of the club. IIU is metaphorizing the conversational education system by carrying down the additional costs and providing access to more than 1,000 class courses and internships to their learners across the globe. With the help of its 1,000 class global educators, IIU has formed its four councils, namely, Women Entrepreneurs Councils, International Students Development Council, International Youth Development Council, and International Council of Educators. The main objective behind the councils is to provide support in every respect to the students, youth, women, entrepreneurs, and educators. In a short span of time, IIU has spared its wings in 195 countries and six continents. Wow. Under the strong leadership of its visionary founder, Mr. Peush Pandit Sir. It's my great honor to introduce our IIU founder, Mr. Peush Pandit. My great respect and gratitude to you a committed and inspiring social activist, a passionate educationist from the last two decades, providing education to students from various social and cultur cultural backgrounds. He has publicized the World Education Policy, One Education, One Foundation, and One World. The visionary page Pandit had just one dream. No child should be deprived of education. He is working towards it day and night. He is safeguarding and promoting education and well-being of learner learners at the all time of life is coming able. The sky is the limit for your dedication and hard work. You are a source of inspiration for us young people and not only young people. Thank you very much for all you do to make education shine. God bless you and give you strength. Please keep up the amazing and important work. But do not forget sometimes rest. Please take care. We need you, sir. Now, I would like to invite you the project director, head of Europe, the country director, Ms. Inga Hachilawa, please tell us your valuable world and motivated thank yous. Wow, Alain, thank you very much. You are so amazing. As always, you started our conference in the best way. Hello, everyone. How glad I am today that we are together again and we are waiting for the presentation of amazing young people. My project is very important because we care and try to stop the problems in the world. It is important for all of us to talk about sustainable development goals and fight for a bright 
future, of course. Thank you to all the young people and their amazing teachers. Today, we will hear the voice of the youth of Azerbaijan and Georgia. I look forward to your inspiring presentation. Big thank you, IAU founder, Mr. Payush Pandit, this opportunity, IAU amazing team, who always work for success of every project. Thank you. And now, IAU stage is yours. Go ahead, Ellen. Best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much. We appreciate your efforts and look forward to many more new projects. Keep shining there. Okay. Let's meet our speakers and see their great presentation and talk. Our first young and extraordinary speaker is Barbara Chakwedade, a very cool girl from Georgia. Hello, everyone. I am Kahaber Chakwedade from Georgia, historic teacher. Today, I won't like to introduce two of my students, Barbara Chakwedade and Vahtang Sviadadze. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Barbara Chakwedadze from Georgia. I study in 14th school of Kutaisi. I'm a student of ninth grade. Um, uh, I like math, biology, uh, and physics. I want to pay a lot of attention to the uh, standards and try our hand at science. Uh, today, uh, I present the uh, topic, uh, gender equality. Despite the progress, uh, um, this topic remains a relevant, problematic, and sometimes uh, uh, controversial issues. Uh, first of all, I want to give you some general information about what is uh, gender equality. Gender equality is the first and fame for most human right. Uh, women have a right to live in uh, dignity without poverty or fear. Empowerment of women is uh, essential for uh, achieving a sustainable development and uh, er eradicating poverty. Uh, the students uh, of the ninth grade of our school presented a project presentation on the topic feminism. The base of the project is the September 13 incident in Iran. Iranian police killed 22 years old Masaja Amin, uh, which led to protest and the burning uh, of uh, hijabs. Uh, we presented a performance and burned, burned hijabs on a bonfire, uh, thereby uh, condemning violence against women. Uh, strong women contribute to the well-being and the productivity of families and communities, as well as improving to the future prospects of the next generation. Uh, Georgia has always been a gender-sensitive state. Back in the 12th uh, 13th centuries, Georgia had uh, a, a fem female kind uh, tamari. Uh, Shota Rustavelli's aphorism uh, will express the attitude of Georgian towards uh, uh, the gender sign. According to the, uh, according to the, um, we'll find. And uh, uh, next is uh, in the history of Georgia, female politicians are widely represented in the first parliament. Despite credible uh, evidence to support women's uh, environment uh, and uh, address uh, some of the world's uh, most pressing challenges, gender equalities remains elusive. Uh, discrimination, uh, discri discrimination uh, against women and girls uh, includes gender-based violence, economic discrimination, uh, including and conditional in the most spread and uh, pres uh, uh, persistent form of uh, inequality. During a uh, uh, humanitarian crisis, uh, especially armed conflicts, women and girls experience terrible difficulties and hardships. One of the main tasks of uh, sustainable development goes gender equality. 
Uh, now I would like to include the fifth uh, goal of uh, sustainable development. Uh, the goal of uh, Georgia uh, and the world is that by 2030, a woman and girls have the same opportunities as men and boys. Uh, all form of uh, uh, violence and discriminations against women and girls ends. Uh, harmful uh, practice and uh, traditions uh, that empower the development of girls are uh, eliminated. Uh, I try my best to display the myth of gender-based learning works and of, uh, performance. I love STM subjects. In my free time, I enjoy playing football. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank wow. you. Thank you. Barbara Chakwetadze is from 14 Public School of Kutaisi. Uh, thanks, Viadadze. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Wachtan Zuyadadze. I am from Georgia. Learning in Skaltobos Municipality, Kwitiri is public school. Uh, I am in 10th grade. Uh, my teacher, uh, my supporter from uh, school is my teacher, Kakhaber Chakutadze. And today I uh, talk about sustainable development. Sustainable Sustainable development is a system of community development that provides human welfare, increasing the standard of living and the rights of future generations to benefit from as much as possible protecting natural resources and environment. The sustainable development goals are a set of international cooperation goals related to the seven, uh, 17 goals adopted by the United Nations, which serve to achieve a better and more sustainable future for the world. These uh, goals should be achieved by 2030. The 12 goals of sustainable development, development responsible construction and production. The purpose of the topic is to learn about the problems caused by waste. Basic principles of the trust goal of sustainable development. Our main task is to realize that waste can be reduced by following four principles. First, reduction. Second, reuse. Uh, third, recycling. And last, recovery of energy from waste. I am very proud because Georgia is among the first 22 countries to pre uh, present a world, uh, voluntary national review to achieve the sustainable development goals in July 2016 as a high-level political forum on sustainable development due to the environmental problems caused by waste during the last day decade, the global region of waste management has changed and the recycling has become a priority. In the process of waste management in many countries of the world, this trend was also introduced in Georgia and is gaining ground more and more. The infrastructure of waste management in Georgia is gradually improving. It is important to put only the kind of waste that cannot be processed in any way at landfills long term and reliable protection of waste should be ensured at the landfill. It is necessary to ensure sustainable consumption and production of waste. The main task of the waste hierarchy is get maximum practical benefits from um, for people and to cause minimal damage to the environment as a result of waste Ma management. The waste hierarchy model is displayed in the environment for at the top of the pyramid is placed the most important desirable action, reduction. Uh, then the second priority, reuse. Uh, nowadays, the European model of the waste hierarchy consists of five main components. First, reduction. Second, re reuse. Uh, third, recycling. Fourth, recovery of waste. And last, placement of waste. Uh, do we want to change the world? Then it's high time to start us. What is our contribution to waste reduction? When we talk about waste reduction, we must remember that this process starts from each of us. So it is necessary to take into account some tips and make it a lifestyle. Try to buy only as much as we need. Second, put the same product in one bag. Third, try not to throw away the bags after one use and reuse them. 
As for as current, are share a product that you rarely use. Oh. My school is involved in a project for a clean environment within the framework of the environmental protection measures. Our school with its surrounding area is often cleaned from waste. Both students and teachers are actively involved in the cleanup activity. Our waste is collected, then sorted and placed in appropriate bins. Uh, what path does the waste go so from the so from the moment it is placed in the bin? From the bin, they go to factories where they are already processed and we get various household items. Absolutely, everything can be made from recycled materials, plastic containers, paper, packaging, fabrics, and many other things. Also, composting can be considered as the most effective way of waste management, which is also one of the most important environmental activities. Compost doesn't contain chemicals, which is a cheap and environmentally friendly alternative to expensive fertilizers. Our school has a wonderful year, so we don't lack composting resources to prepare compost accordingly. Compost is a rather complex process that takes place as a result of the interaction of organic waste, microorganisms, moisture, and oxygen. Compost is the best, best fertilizer and is environmentally friendly. It can be, be made by a rule. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's great. Really, really very amazing. Congratulate. Thank you so much, dear Kahaber. Your students were great. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, welcome. Really amazing presentation. And now we have so amazing students from Georgia, also Ruska Sarcize, the best students from Georgia. Welcome. Please stop sharing. Hello, everyone. Thank GFC, IAU, and Mr. Pesh Pandit for giving me the opportunity to be your member. I'm Nina Pakshalashvili, an English teacher at Jalauta Public School. Now, today, our presentation is about sustainable development and art. Presenter is Rusudan Sartide, the seventh grade student of our school. Now we made we have made this presentation together with an art teacher, Reva Sartide. Now we think all challenges are an opportunity for growth and we are very thankful for uh, the chance to involve this conference. Thank you very much. Now Rusudan, please start our presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you my screen? Yes. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. I am Rusudan Sarcide, Jalalta Public School, Saint Grace. This is my tenth sustainable development and, and art. The sustainable development goals refer to the contemporary global challenges such as issues of poverty, inequality, prosperity, peace, and justice, as well as climate and environmental challenges. The main goal of sustainable development is the continuous increase in the quality of human life and the satisfaction of basic needs, so that the natural systems, biodiversity, and resources on which we all depend are preserved and improved. In this process, it is important to raise awareness of each person and their individual behavior. We all need to realize that daily actions are harmful to the environment, so move on to a climate-friendly lifestyle. Art has immense power. It can affect both the particular person and the whole community. Those art, it is possible to send different messages to society. In the modern era, there is a very large play for a social poster that responds to the most painful problems of society. The artistic appearance of these posters is sometimes determined by the hot topic. Posters created by modern artists to prevent various problems of sustainable development. 
Today the world is a quality experiencing the problems of environmental protection. Violation of ecology has caused many natural disasters, floods, landslides, droughts, and others. Therefore, natural defenders actively use poster of art and call people to protect the earth. Art helps us to see the beauty of nature and it's a and it's a sorry and it's our research. And it's important in the environment. For centuries, nature with its beauty and greater source of and even fear. Nature has been a powerful source of admiration, reflection, description, inspiration. People try to express their mood and attitudes towards nature in art. In art, any artistic technique is used to achieve a certain goal. Those these methods are taught to the viewer, tell them what to say, convey mood and the emotional impressions. Painters try to convey the impressions of presence paint paintings, observing the change of illumination shadow, light in different periods of time during the day, and try to find new means of, of expression painting. They created the picture direct in nature, started on a plenary and performed event drawings. It is the work in the open space and expression to suddenly extend and just the intensity of colors in the works of the impression it gives the brightness and the lovely and lovely emotional charge. Planar painting. Drawing landscapes on the plenary is my hobby. In the landscapes, I convey my impressions and emotions when reflecting the environment. Art can do many things. It gives us a pleasure. It informs us and in its response to this or that, events of the past or present, expresses protest against a violation quality war, critically evaluates the events and sometimes calls the public. Those, those art plays a major role in shaping human, consistent and establishing certain value in society. Pablo Picasso's Guernica is the status against war in 1946. A civil war broken out in Spain, extreme right wing nationalist supported by the German Nazi attacked the left wing Republican government. With this Hegel shocking picture, Picasso went to show the secession and destruction that followed by the Nazi bombing of the pro Republican thought of Guernica in 1947. Green architecture. The basic human requirements include the limit risk. Living residential working or leisure environment is the formation of which architects and the architecture have the most important role. Already in the last century, cities begin to grow slowly, densely built multi story buildings, asphalt, and continuous traffic flows in the streets. First, nervous and then left almost no room for green plants necessary for life. Nature was completely excluded from the human environment, and big cities became concrete jungles. Since the 1970s, the architects of the world began to think about the solution to this problem and creating the concrete of the so called green. In Ixaville, how so he projected the English architect Arthur Quarby in 1974. According to Quarby's concrete, the house and the environment showed represent and organized integrity. Its force should be combined with the landscape in such a way as to create a single nature form. Quarby's house is a good example of a kind of human responsibility towards nature. Alton then, green architecture constantly develops and takes different forms. It is equally an ecological architect, then offers a harmonious relationship between the man made world and or nature. Also, green architect is very expensive and not every country has the luxury of creating it. It will never create the value of the, of the nature green cover of the earth. Steps of green architecture created by me, makeup made of cardboard and colored papers. I built, I built, um, built a, I, I built a house model of green architecture.
sustainable architecture can be implemented by caring for culture heritage based it on the on the achievements of the modern engineering achievements of the modern engineering and humanitarian science and technologies so, technologies in the north of aesthetics and ethics, which satisfies the demands of society to live in a safe, projected environment without limited comfort. Without, oh. By standing together with smart decisions and consistent use of resources, we will be able to save our planet. The others that gave us the home and the opportunity to live safely. Our team's consists of Russo Dan Sarti, the presenter, Reva Sarti, the teacher of art, Nino Pekhshalashvili, teacher of English. This is used to literature. Thank you for attention. Wow, thank you very much. That was a very good presentation. I am impressed with your presentation. Okay, our next speaker are amazing girls from my beautiful country, Georgia. Girls, um, okay. Uh, Lizzie Kapanadze, Teona Enokidze, and Mariam uh, Kirwalze, please introduce your presentation and your teacher. Uh, hello, we are from Georgia. We are the 12th grade students uh, of the Merger Public School. My name is Teona Enukite. My name is Lizzie Gabanaze. My name is Mariam Kirwalize. Our teacher is Miss Makate Kanoize. Uh, and now we represent informal education in our school. Uh, the concept of informal education in the Georgia law appeared in 2005-2007, learning that the student okay. learns when he's in a comfortable and safe environment as soon as, as, soon as in an environment from formal methods, the location is already absorbing information. It must be said that this applies not only to teenagers, but also to adults. It is also poss possible to increase the efficiency of an activity in informal learning conditions. Uh, quality education is a necessary uh, prerequisite for sustainable development. Uh, informal education is not an official part of a curricular program. It means developing and forming uh, students' skills, abilities, and competencies in informal, informal environment, where students are motivated to learn according to their interests. Uh, the role of uh, non-formal education. Uh, informal education provides the opportunity to develop personality, creativity, talents, initiative, and a sense of social responsibility, and to accumulate the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed in life. Make learning accessible in everyday life and in future. Informal education means informal learning environment. School's main aim is to make informal environment for students. School clubs are important for this. Our life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? It is the model that drives the Map Georgia organization, organization which started its activities with a um, motive that something had to be done urgently, and which today is known as Map Georgia, McLean Association for Children, Georgia. Existence known. Uh, makes it show how Georgia always will power uh, perseverance and the help of many people, including the organization staff and partners. Mac Georgia is really changing in the current situation. The McLean Association for Children provides support, education, disabilities by empowering their families and the communities that cares for them. Develops and supports various projects. 
provide identification of medical needs and uh, implementation of uh, preventive measures, materials, medicines, supportive educational activities financially and professionally, provide information on disabilities, behavior management, special education needs and crisis intervention. <laughs> Our school has been cooperating with the Mac Georgia organization. During this time, council process uh, within the framework of the project, we have established friendly relations with schools from different parts of Georgia, namely Dolgani Public School, Upper Achara, Gordi Public School, Hon Municipal. Municipality, municipality, public school of middle elevation, Chokhatauri municipality, Chochati Cho public school, um, Lanchoti municipality, Haish public school, Upper Swanity, Mestia municipality, Atsford public school. The result of this program, school initiated a cognitive fund today camp next door in Argoti public school. Uh, Nation Leadership Conference, Map Georgia Nation Young Leaders Conference 2020 was held in Iraq at uh, the Camp Orange Base. Uh, 42 students from 10 partner schools from different regions of Georgia took part in the Nation Leadership Conference. We were among them. And now Lizzie will continue. Hello. Um, our school leaders in 2022. Uh, now I will introduce um, you to the extraordinary leaders of the National Conference of Young Leaders. Uh, these people from our school gathered together with children from different parts of Georgia uh, at the YMCA base in Iraq to develop their uh, Skills. Now they are ready to put the knowledge gained in the uh, community into practice. Um, uh, there is our school students, Nika Barel, Nikalos Bareladze, Nini Enukidze, Sabadekanoize, Taimuras Katashvili. This is a weekend camp on uh, our school uh, relationship with parents. Uh, this year, the six um, cons uh, consecutive uh, national co confidence of parents was held as a theme, uh, theme uh, of um, which is um, a short run. This year, 100 a magical resource book was created. A scholarship program, uh, Map Georgia has been implementing a scholarship project within their um, reg regional educational program since uh, 211, uh, in which uh, at this stage, more than 100 students from different reg regions uh, of Georgia are involved. Um, 20 students from our school have been founded since uh, 227 and the organization provides their uh, funding for a full four years. Uh, there are the scholarship um, program students. Uh, Map Georgia is always ready to support us, encourage us and share with us with past called uh, being a student. Uh, theater, uh, Mac George's program involves in definiting uh, educational problems in the community for future support and learning. Uh, in, uh, in uh, one of its successful uh, companies uh, in the uh, theater program, which is currently implemented in 10 re regions of Georgia. The theater program involves meeting with students two and three times a week in partner school. During meetings, students discuss different literature uh, with the uh, directors, work on speech, creative thinking and public speaking uh, speaking uh, techniques. Uh, um, uh, there are our schools, uh, theater, uh, results uh, revealing a development various skills such non-formal educational 
uh, it allows us to reveal our potential hidden uh, tendencies. Mm -hmm. uh, we are involved in the process of know knowing uh, the world. Um, so we are just active. It is, it is possible to get to know oneself, discover and develop various skills. Work is play, a pleasant change of environment. Uh, it is important to choose a topic, action, plan future work, which helps to uh, reveal and develop skills as well as expand uh, horizons. Uh, our um, socializing uh, take place uh, what is more fun and uh, interesting uh, than doing activities with your purse uh, such work is not only a favorite activity but also a relationship with like-minded children uh, discussing of video, white videos, interesting topics, uh, contesting, uh, contesting experiments, carrying out research helps students uh, to make new uh, equi uh, acquaintances, uh, friends often within the framework of informal education based on common interest formal friendship lasts and lifetime and can be the beginning of new discoveries. At the same time, the student who is busy with activities that are interesting to him has less time for lessons and less change to get into a bad and uh, destructive environment. So, Mariam Iwalidze will continue. Hello. Uh, we acquire self-discipline skills. Uh, there is no strict control of students. Uh, they are oriented according to their own skills and interests. That is, the student himself is interested in achieving success, getting the desired result. Therefore, they develop the ability of self-control, self-development, uh, and self-discipline, which will be useful throughout their lives. At the same time, they develop a sense of social responsibility while interacting with other students. Orientation. Any hobby or interest of the student can turn into a future profession. That is why it's necessary to promote the development of their skills while working. A student equipped with knowledge and developed skills will be able to become a highly professional in the future. He will learn to combine the useful with the pleasant. As the student knows that he has to study a subject at school, he has no other choice. This compulsion uh, suppresses motivation and development. Informal work is a game, a present change of environment. The student can be choose a topic he wants, actions, plan future work, uh, which helps to reveal and develop skills. Student self-esteem increases. Implementation of various activities gives students an opportunity to express their interests, to discuss their idea about the chosen topic. When interacting with other students, they have uh, to express their opinion, find arguments to define, uh, defend it, uh, draw conclusions based on facts if expressed, and uh, verify hypotheses. When a child is engaged in an activity that interests him, even the most interrupted will certainly uh, succeed. Even a minor success boosts his uh, self-esteem. He be becomes confident throughout his life. Of course, little support is necessary here. Teachers and parents must pay attention to his achievements, prize, support, express hope that his success will increase even more in the future. And finally, in the modern world, a person can acquire or improve knowledge and skills not only in an educational institution, but also in other alternative ways. Uh, ways. Uh, since sometimes the desired result is not achieved by using only traditional forms and methods of teaching. Uh, thus, if the program is formal education is predetermined, informal education is built entirely on the needs of the individual and allows the student to clearly reveal his inner abilities. At the same time, it's connected to professional education, which helps the stu student to plan his career, an important link between education and the labor market. Now, I will show a little gallery. This is um, truly the future, the future begins with us. Um, thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It was a very, very good and 
interesting presentation. I am really impressed with your presentation. Keep it up. Your topic was uh, really important. Each one of you talked about amazing and interesting information. Thank you very much. My respect to you. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Our next speaker is a great girl with a great presentation, Nino Toporia. Nino, the stage is yours. Can you share your opinion? Yes. Uh, you I have, have a problem? I have a little internet problem. May I just start this presentation without sharing? Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Ninto Puria. I'm from Tbilisi, capital of Georgia. I study in 108 public school. I'm here because I want people to be more democratic. And when I heard about this conference, I thought I had a chance of coming out for my opinion. I made a presentation about it, but I can't share it. I want to share uh, with you about goal eight of sustainable development goals. Promote sustained inclusive in sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. What does decent work mean? Decent work means opportunities for everyone to get work that is productive and delivers a fair income, a security in the workplace and social protection for families, better prospects for personal development and social integration. It's very important that strengthening the capacity uh, uh, of the country's uh, financial in uh, institutions to promote and expand universal access to banking, insurance and financial services. It's necessary to encourage development oriental policies in all countries that promote productive activity, the creation of decent jobs, entrepreneurship, creativity and innovation and encourage the establishment and growth of micro, small and medium sized enterprises, including by ensuring their access to financial services, achieving full and productive employment and decent work, as well as equal pay for work of equal value is essential to all a successful country for all women and men, including young and persons with disabilities. And I hope this goal will be achieved by, achieved by 2030. And I'll be very happy to participate with the next generation of my country in achieving this goal. Take immediate and affirmative measures to eradicate forced labor and modern slavery and human trafficking, the secure and the prohibition and elimination of the worst forms of child labor, including requirement and use of child soldiers and by 2025 and the child labors in all its forms, including green economic growth and decent employment are of key importance mm -hmm. for the development and prosperity of European countries and for the well-being and personal realiz realization of individuals. For economic growth to be truly sustainable, it needs to be accompanied by efficiency improvements, climate control and resilient measures alongside active labor market and social inclusion policies in order to avoid harming the natural environment. It depends on our damaging and social fabric of European. Thanks for attention. Wow. Thank you very much, Nino. I like it very much. It was really interesting, your uh, consideration, Nino. Thank you. And now we have to move to Azerbaijan and our first speaker from Azerbaijan is teacher Shalala. Mishalala, the stage is yours. You can take it. Good evening. Good evening, dear Inga. Good evening, Elena. Good, Good evening, dear Good participants. Evening. I'm very honored to lead the Azerbaijan team of students tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank you for creating such a great opportunity for our youth, for giving them a chance to be heard, to express their opinions on such an important topic about SDGs. 
Uh, yeah. And that's uh, really... I didn't hear for another. Thank you so much. Welcome to IAU. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, you. that's a really great initiative on part of IAU and its founder, Sir Piyush Pandit. We really do value this initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you so and, much. Uh, Again, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And I'd like to give the floor to our students. The first one will be Nurtan, Nurtan Dursun Aliyeva. She'll talk about SDG4, quality education. So please, Nurtan, uh, you can go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hi, first let me introduce myself. My name is Nurtan. My surname is Dursun Aliyeva. I am from Azerbaijan. I'm 10 years old. I'm in fifth grade. Today, I'll tell you about quality education. Education liberates the intellect, unlocks the emotion, and is fundamental for self-respect. It's the key to prosperity and opens the world of opportunities, making it possible for each of us to contribute to progress of healthy society. Learning benefits every human being and should be available to all. Education is the main source of individual freedoms, but it does not only bring individual freedoms to a person. By protecting the environment uh, to which individuals belong from the uh, vortex of ignorance, it provides the society with social freedoms established on the traditions of enlightenment. Uh, Jose said, if you want to destroy a country, take away its education. More than half of children would not review education, like in African countries located south of the Sahara. This region differs from the number of children who do not go to school. In my country, Azerbaijan, children are provided with everything they need for education. It is the same in my school. I'm studying in secondary school number two, and we are getting books for free, and the average ch children provided with books. The general leader of Azerbaijan, Haider Aliyev, says, education is the future of every nation. Thank you for attention. Thanks for listening to me. Goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and uh, can I invite our next student? Kojaev uh, Hadija, if you are here, you can hear me. Okay, if, if uh, maybe she has problems. Ilknur. No problem. Ilknur, if you can hear me, uh, you can start there, please. Hello. I am Ilknur. I am the ninth grade. The topic I am preparing is about zero hunger. One of the main sustainable development calls for 930 is to reach zero hunger. Uh, but what does that actually mean? The U.S. definition of zero hunger uh, goes beyond a single number. A more complicated rundown of the second sustainable development goal is to end hunger, achieve food security and improve, improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. One in nine people in the world in undernourished and about 800 million people. Go hungry on our planet. The second sustainable development goal is to end this problem. However, this challenge is not easy to confront and after decades of progress, the problem increases again. Hunger and malnutrition are vicious traps that are difficult to escape. They make people less productive and more prone to disease. Ultimately, they face many difficulties to increase their income and improve their standard 
of living. It's a vicious circle in which millions of men, women, and children live, not only in Africa and Asia, but also in areas such as the United States, Europe, or Oceania. In our attempt to end hunger in childhood, we provide scholarship for dining, snacks, and breakfast to children in need. But we not only talk about hunger, but also about malnutrition. In this way, we try to provide training to young people and families in cooking, nutrition, and home economics techniques, in addition to supporting entrepreneurship and income generation, also generating future vocations for youth. Hunger is not caused by food shortage alarm but by a combination of nature, social, and political focus. Currently, nature resources that are necessary for human survival, like fresh water, the ocean, forest, soils, and more, are dwindling. Climate change is contributing to the degradation of precious resources as severe visa events like droughts become more common and affect harvest, leading to less food for human consumption. Poverty and uh, inequality are also two drives of hunger affecting who can buy food as well as what kind of food and how much is available. Hunger is also a product of war and conflict. During periods of unrest, a country's economy and infrastructure can become severely damaged. This negatively affects civilian access to food by either driving up food prices, interfering with food production, or forcing people from uh, their homes. Uh, the measure to success of achieving this, the UN outlines five targets to indicate uh, our progress towards zero hunger. Access to safe nutrition and sufficient food year-round and main nature in all its forms. Increase agriculture productivity, sustainable food systems and agriculture resilience, diversify crops and seeds. Uh, so, have you finished here? Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your wonderful presentation. And, uh, and Kojoiva had the job, if you can hear me. Yes. Can I speak? Yes. The floor is. Hello, I am Hadija Kojoiva. I am from Azerbaijan region, Aksu. And, and I study the 10th grade secondary village school in Radley. I want to talk uh, to you about clean water and sanitation. Can I start? Of course. Violation of the ecological balance in the world, as well as the emergence of a stigmatically attitude towards natural resources and water sources has led to the emergence of certain problems from almost pure water yellow. No, who can say that the water we drink is ecologically clean and pure water? Perhaps uh, there are enough people who drink clean and pure water. But no, this does not mean that all the water, uh, that the majority uh, of the population drinks is ecologically clean. In general, the problem of drinking water today is considered one of the difficult problems, not only of our country, but of the world. At least, uh, cause uh, the need for clean water is many times greater. It is true that with modern techniques and technology, it is possible to uh, purify any sea water and bring it uh, to the level of drinking water. However, uh, this water cannot reach the purify, uh, purity of the spring water that flows from 
the chest of the mountains. Moreover, the spring water filtered from those mountains uh, contains most, uh, most of the minerals necessary for the human body. The unnecessary use of clean drinking water resources, dumping of uh, waste into rivers and lakes, uh, most and most importantly, the disaster of DT switch into fresh water uh, basins lead to a, a decrease in the volume of clean drinking water resources in the world. This may cause a shortage of drinking water all over the world in future. It is no uh, coincidence uh, that many countries in the world, especially African countries, are experiencing problems with drinking water and people there are even dying of stress. They need even a drop of water from the large mass of water that people use unnecessarily and pollute. Therefore, we should try to save drinking water resources as much as possible. Also, awareness should be widely spread on this topic in our country and in the world. Cause uh, by saving drinking water resources, we will actually protect, uh, protect ourselves from future water shortages. Uh, the fresh water problem has become an actual social and economic problem in the world today. And its solution, unfortunately, uh, are not the desired level. For this, in the world, uh, community takes certain measures and looks for optimal ways to protect and use water economically. Thanks. Thank you, Dia, for giving us uh, information about such an important topic about clean water. Uh, and uh, now I'd like uh, to give a word to your namesake, Mustafa Eva Hadija. She'll give us information about good health and well being. Uh, so, Hadija, please. Um, um, Hadija Mustafaeva, is she here? Uh, okay, you can begin, uh, Nuray. If you are ready, you can begin. Kasimova Nuray, please. Hello. Hello, my name is Nuray Kasimova. I am from Azerbaijan. I live actor. Uh, I study in the 90s grade. Uh, the topic I uh, will uh, talk about today is about quality education. Uh, education is process that transfers the accurate knowledge, skills, and values of society from one generation to another. In our broader sense, education can include any action uh, or experience carried uh, out by a person under uh, the influence of his about uh, his thinking, character, and physical ability. Uh, education has a fundamental impact on the capacity potential on uh, in individually and communities and achieve development as well as social and economic success. Uh, education is one of the key factors needed for development uh, as as well as uh, human improvement. Uh, education equips people with uh, knowledge and information and uh, helps build a sense of self-system and self-confidence and help realize the potential. Uh, one of the most important uh, goals of education is to teach people to read and write uh, literacy as a fundamental uh, Fun, uh, fun, uh, foundation of knowledge and uh, a key uh, competent of education helps in H uh, human capacity and provides benefits uh, not only for individuals but also for families, communities, and communities. Literacy helps uh, to interstate uh, poverty in careers, participation in society. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Nurai. 
<laughs> Dear Elena, uh, I, I think it's time to give a word to Georgian students. <laughs> well, this is, uh, was one of the best. I really like you. I am impressed, really important and interesting inf information you have pro provided us all. Thank you very much. Okay, now we are moving again to my wonderful country, Georgia, where we have an amazing speaker, Lali Shengelia. Lali, can you share your thought and your presentation? I have stage is yours. Let's start. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Ola Shangalia from uh, 180 Public School of Tbilisi. Uh, my uh, presentation is about uh, sustainable development goals. Let's start. As enable or the development goals for is an education goal. It uh, aims to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and uh, promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. The purpose of my uh, of my uh, participation is this conference was that I want to uh, contribute my option as a student. I'm getting a uh, quality education for all uh, vulnerable groups. I'm very happy to be able to speak about uh, speak about to a uh, world uh, and share my option with my peers on uh, how to achieve quality education for all. Uh, by uh, 2003 uh, and uh, ensure that all students uh, I'll, that all students acquire uh, uh, their uh, knowledge and skills to uh, contribute to uh, sustainable development, including towards sustainable development and uh, sustainable lifestyles, human uh, rights, gender quality, uh, the uh, promotion of a culture free of peace and violence, global citi uh, citizenship, uh, and recognition of cultural uh, diversity, and the uh, con uh, true version of uh, culture and uh, su uh, sustainable development throughout education. Education is an uh, is an uh, essential part of my uh, part of a uh, democratic and sustainable society, uh, allowing allowing to form active uh, society. This again uh, grow and co-regulating their person, personal development. Education is necessary a uh, tool for a citizens' lives to build a diverse and include society to change mentalities, to raise uh, awareness of uh, vital social social matters, such as uh, gender quality. It is also a support to, uh, against uh, hatred and uh, pre, uh, prejudice, prejudice in edu education, uh, to improve quality of life. Access to include education must be democrat democratized as it's a way to solve the world's greatest problems. By, uh, 2000, by 2000, uh, treaty ensure that all girls and boys complete free, equitable and quality primary and uh, secondary edu education leading to uh, relevant and effective learning outcomes. Uh, the uh, provision of uh, 12 years of free uh, publicly funded inclusive equitable uh, quality primary, primary and secondary education of which at uh, least nine years uh, nine years are uh, compulsory leading to two relevant learning outcomes to, outcomes should be ensured for all without discrimination. Uh, is it imperative to reduce uh, barriers to uh, skills development and uh, technical and uh, 
vocational education and training start, uh, starting from the secondary level, as well as to uh, tertiary uh, ter education learning apartments for youth and adults. Uh, sustainable uh, development goal, um, goal four uh, has 10 formats which are uh, measured by 12 indi okay, indicators. Um, the seven outcome or, or in forgets or are three primary and secondary. Education equal access to uh, quality of uh, pre-primary affordable uh, technical, vocational and higher education. Uh, increased number of people with uh, relevant skills uh, for financial uh, success. Elimination of all uh, discrimination discriminations in education. Uh, universe literacy and uh, numeracy and uh, education for uh, sustainable development and goal or citizenship. The three means of achieving targets are build and uh, upgrade inclusive and uh, so, uh, solve schools, expand uh, higher education school uh, scholarships for uh, developing countries, and uh, increase uh, increase the. Uh, Sapi of qualified uh, teachers in uh, development countries. Thank you all uh, for listening uh, and attention. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Well, Ali, I really like your presentation. It was great and unforgettable. Thank you very much for such a wonderful presentation and such interesting information. I really enjoyed it. Okay, our next speaker are the best skills with the best teachers and the best director. These skills have been preparing for this day and they are amazing today. I can't wait, I can't wait for your speech. I'm sure it will be one of the best presentation. Okay, girls. Tika Hutsiradze, Maria Javia, Ani Dawitadze, Danini Mahatashuli. Please uh, appreciate. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Chika Hurtzen. I will translate. Hello, it is very important to be with you in this project. Thanks to Mrs. Inga Karchilawa, who gave us the opportunity to participate in this conference. My name is Nat uh, Natia Dwalishun, and I am teacher of primary classes of number two, public school named after Galatian Kavita Wani City. Today, we will once again review the topic project-based learning, which is very interesting when developed in school life. Project of the Project-based learning promotes integrated learning, interrelationships between subjects which, uh, which are concentrated around one topic. Project teaching encourages students to search for important problems, which develops wider skills. Today, the subject of project teaching is so diverse that the issues is are presented, are presented in this connection and in the index my students have been involved in wireless projects in the first grade. I believe that right from the primary grades, we should take care of the development of skills and competitions provided by the national or circle. Sarmo Gidget Gunt, school is director of the Mozart at Wittmartolovitz Eurepta Nertat, 
რომლებიც შეეცდებიან ისაუბრო სწორედ ამ მიმართულებით, გაგიზიაროლ გამოცდილება გაწეული მუშაობის შესახებ. იცნობდეთ ჩვენ სკოლას, ჩვენ საზოგადოებას და ერთად გავიაროთ გზა მომავლისაკენ. I present the team together with the school director and members of the student self government who will try to talk in this direction to share with you the experience of the work that get to know our school and our community. მოდესალებით ძვირ ფასონა გობრებო. ჩვენი დიდი პატივი აქ ამ საოცარ სივრცეში თქვენ წინაშე წარდგომა. ჩვენი სკოლა წრედია ცდილობს მოსწავლეზე ორიენტირებული სასწავლო გარემო შექმნას. ამიტომ სკოლაში წარმატებით მუშაობს ეკო კლუბი, რომელშიც მოსწავლეები მდგრადი განვითარების მიზნების მისაღწევ პროექტებს გეგმავენ და ახორციელებენ. ეკო კლუბელებთან ერთად ამ პროცესში ჩართულია სკოლის თვითმართველობა. ამიტომ ყველა აქტიობა სკოლის სამივე საფეხურზე ხორციელდება. ჩვენი სკოლის მისია აღზარდოთ ისეთი მოქალაქე, რომელსაც ვახიქრეთ მომავალზე და ის არის ცხოვრებს არსებული ხარჯზე. ესე იგი მეგობრებო, მდგრადი განვითარების მიზნები, განათლების ეროვნული მიზნები, სასწავლო გეგმის მიზნები და სკოლის მიზნები ერთ საერთო მთლიან გულსთმიან და ემსახურებიან სოფიო მოქალაქის აღზრდას, რომელთაც ექნება გლობალური ფუნქციური უნარები. პროექტი რომელიც უნდა წარმოგიდგინოთ ასეთი სახელწოდებითა, ვასწავლოთ ისე რომ ვაფიქროთ მომავალზე. აღნიშნული პროექტი მდგრადი განვითარების მეთორმეტი და 14 მიზნის მიღწევას ემსახურება. Hello dear friends, it is a great honor for us to present you here in this amazing space. Our school has been trying to create a student oriented learning environment for years. That is why the Echo Group is successfully working in this school. in which students plan and implement projects that achieve the goal of sustainable development. The self-government of the school is involved in the process. Therefore, all activities are carried out at the three levels of the school. The mission of our school is not to raise such a, such a citizen who thinks about the future and who does not live at the expense of the present. This friends and sustainable development goals, national education goals, curriculum goals, and the school goals are one they create uh, a common link and serve to educate global citizens who will have global functional skills. The project that we have to present to you with this name is to teach in such a way that we think about the future. The mentioned project serves to achieve the 12 uh, and 15th goal of sustainable development. Project Mimdinarobda Sami Mimartulabi. ნარჩენი ქაღალდი, რომელიც სასკოლო სივრცეში უამრავია და ხდებოდა მისი საერთო ნაგვისურნებში განთავსება, ასევე მინის და პლასტიკის ბოთლები, რომლებიც უამრავია პარკებსა და სკვერებში და მდინარის სანაპიროებზე და განადგურებული ტყეები, რომელთა გაჩეხვა ხდება სხვადასხვა მიზნით. The project progresses in three directions. First, there is a lot of waste paper in the school space and it is used to be placed in common trash can. Second, also glass and plastic bottles which are numerous in parks and squares. Third, also on the banks of the river and destroyed forests, which are cut down for various purposes. Ragadis narchenebis tu shoukmani tu zarmazalim tsuane khote. Meoradi botlebis tu svetsadet me gwenichebina akhali sitsotsle. Ini mouhatet gava feradet gamoliqanet svadasva mezi. Nadvis khebis gada sarchena chokmani svadasva masalisgan khotna keti nadvis khebi. Movatsvet gamopena gaqida shegnovili tanki bezmieri akhali tseli gaoteret marto khela mokhuts. We have created a huge green box for paper waste. We try to give new life to use both painted them, colored them, use them for different purposes. In order to save Christmas trees, we created handmade Christmas trees from different materials, organized an exhibition and sale, and donated the collected money to a, to a lonely old man. We will pass the floor to our presenters in whose hands our paper is. Hello, everyone. We are members, members of the Students of Government. I am Mariam Javia, and we are so glad that we are participating in this con amazing cooperation with you. A voice from Georgia, from all corners of Georgia around the world. When the school project Let's Teach So That We Think About the Future of Planet, we gather, age, talked, discussed, and decided to share ideas in the classes. Today, I would like to briefly tell you the story of an activity, Second Life for Bottles. As a part of the project, when the cleaning action was planned, one classes wanted to paint the bottles taken from the landfills. The students thus expressed their opinion that all things can be repurposed and revived. Here's the children clearly conveying the message. Let's live in an ecological, clean environment. This is a firm and irreplaceable role of our healthy life. 
The activity turned out to be so interesting that children couldn't hide their joy. The most important were the student presentation. We liked their work so much that even today they are placed in a prominent place in beautiful than all romance of our school. I am Nima Khairi. I want to thank you, my school, my teachers, and you organizers. I would like to talk about an interesting and fun activity called Green Box. Uh, yes, it is an activity that included waste paper collection. Why this activity? Often adults destroy unusual papers carelessly. However, cover uh, save nature from danger. For this purpose, we divided into groups and distributed book uh, and for students. To raise awareness, we started talking about how much your actions will save the forest from destruction. We would avoid ecological danger. We would, uh, we would also create uh, various beautiful products from the papers collected here. There was great in, in houses. Okay. Hello. My name is Ani Davitaze. Thank you very much once again to Mrs. Inga. The activity I'm going to discuss now I, uh, is making handmade Christmas tree is the day before the new year. We gathered to discuss how to decorate the room for the new year. Here we are also talked about how to avoid the uh, danger of the cut uh, down free tears and take care of nature. In one class, we saw that the teacher was showing the students a presentation, uh, Christmas tree tears. Uh, in this presentation, the main character of the work in the three tiers, uh, which conveyed the uh, path it took uh, to get for the forest environment to the closed place. Uh, in the, uh, his pain uh, was great because they cut it, beautified the house, uh, then straight, uh, threw it away and threw it in the uh, birdcage dump. Uh, he always also wants to live, be happy, uh, and be happy. In the background of the news described in the uh, presentation, uh, the emotions of the children was uh, so over, uh, overwhelming. Uh, they decided to make uh, to make Christmas trees and uh, by hand uh, for the new year. Uh, the most important things that. Uh, here was the parents we are actively involved and uh, participate. Uh, then we decided to sell the products for a nominal, a nominal amount uh, with the collect money. We help a social uh, vulnerable person for whom the amount uh, was very uh, available. Future plans. We have a lot of plans. We want to actively involve the community and the local government in the process of waste management. We are pre preparing a, pet a petition to place separation bins in the city. We also plan to create recycled paper, make a glue, make a stand for sustainable development goals. Thank you for your attention. Ellen, how much are I have no words and I don't know what to say to appreciate you so well. No, it's night. No, it's night and you are at school. I really don't know what to say. Your enthusiasm and your excellent information is unforgettable. Such as director is building the future. Congratulations on this success. Keep up the amazing world. The proud voice of Georgia was here today in front of the world. It was really very cool, very interesting, and very, very important because you are amazing. Each of you is amazing. Big a pleasure from me. I really liked your presentation. And Thank you so much. And now I want to tell you that we have a special quest from Krisha with Nada Ratkovic, who is the axis of IAU. 
Dear Nada, please tell us something. Evaluate this my Emily. You are my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, my beautiful Elena, for this opportunity. Uh, thank you for this amazing IIU Europe Youth Voice Conference. Our great, amazing IIU had make a marvelous event again. So proud on all the students and all the teachers. And yes, IIU today again proved that it is a unique combination of modern methods of education. Today, we hear a lot about so many SDGs and what are the activities make in the schools in Georgia and Azerbaijan. So the youth is really our future and we are hearing this in our amazing conference. Youth in Europe, youth in Europe today, youth in Europe today, Today and tomorrow, we have all positive views. We share the knowledge. We are listening about the Green Deal, about the climate change, about the clean water, about the decent grow. Each one SDG is that. So if we achieve this SDGs, we are sure that this youth today on this amazing platform will have a job and every national economy will grow. So these young Europeans are amazing. And uh, we are today digital. I hope soon uh, that we will be in the live because our amazing IAU head of Europe, Dr. Inga Karchilava is a director of a bike up. So these students are all called to be our participants of the bike up. So then we will see, we have a project, a project in the e-village that the world didn't see yet. And youth is our future. Youth is our future of the society. This young generation needs this, needs this. And I hear today the words, Air, 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 renew, refresh, and they need new status. They need a new society. So I am praying every day for this youth, and IAU is giving this opportunity youth equality, youth power, and youth culture. So IAU Europe. Uh, IAU Europe youth keep continuing great job and Last year was the European year of youth. And we are continuing again this year with building a better future, a greener future, inclusive future, a digital future. And yes, IAU youth can do that. So once again, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. I want to congratulate to each one student, to each one, teacher to our great IAU head, my dear sister and her great daughter for leading this amazing conference today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And God bless you all. Thank you very much. Your work is very important to us. You're string the IAU. I love you very much, dear Nada. And I, I love you. So thank you so much for everything, my dear. And congratulate to all you people. I'm very happy today. Go ahead, Ellen. Thank you. Okay. As for our next speaker, she is a very nice and cool girl from Georgia. And this is Mariam Nonika Shuli. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. A pupil below the public school of Kautis Heavy, village of Caspi municipality, Mariam Nonik Ashuli. Hello, everyone. My name is Mariam, last name Nonik Ashuli. I am 13 years old, a researcher. I uh, participate in international projects of Edwinning. Uh, when I ask my parents what are the sustainable development goals, they don't know what to answer. I want to explain everything to them when we uh, draw posters at school about all the goals. 
We will also tell the parents they will help us. We will publish it everywhere. On the school page, on Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram and others. We will prepare brochures. We will start working on these goals. Uh, my friend and I took uh, part in the Take Care of the Future photo contest. Contest rules. The participant must take a picture showing the uh, contamin contaminated area, uh, clean the same area and take a photograph of it, uh, upload both pictures to the Facebook group Tualadi and uh, indicate the location of the cleaned area. <clears throat> two, uh, two winners will be selected uh, based on the number of likes. Uh, the financial support, uh, support of the uh, competition is comely. Take care of the future. This is our country. You will see a polluted uh, environment. The environment is clean and beautiful to see. I love you. Vivo. They give us a voucher uh, worth 100 gale to buy books. They give us 100 gale voucher to buy books. We choose English language books. We really, uh, we really need them. Uh, sustainable uh, development goal 12 wise uh, uh, use of waste. The, pro the project uh, contributes to the uh, achievement of the 12 goals of sustainable development. Be producing uh, received waste sorting waste and minimizing waste in the work process. Uh, then a company collects waste. Boxes will be set up in the school and we will uh, collect the following waste. Uh, <clears throat> elements, lighters, bottle cups, egg containers, bottles of shampoos and deter detergents, plastic bottles, uh, tubes of toothpaste and perfumery, defective cups, telephone parks and others. We will collect waste paper. We will spread information about the project so, so uh, social networks. We will record the ad because others are interested and have joined us. We will print the project plan and the res results is a new education newspaper. We will put up an uh, inform informational banner in the village. We will write a letter to the uh, go governor to uh, allocate the cost of transformation uh, of the collect waste. Uh, with the collect money, we will buy a color printer, bas basketball, uh, shades, and balls. Thank you for our attention. Thank you very much. As um, for our speaker, uh, she's very nice and cool. Uh, Mari, thank you so much for providing such amazing and important information on a very important topic. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you too. <clears throat> we have a move again to my neighboring country, Azerbaijan. And Ms. Shalala, can you introduce us to your amazing children? Uh, yes, thank you, Elena. Your team really, it, it was wonderful, fantastic. Thank you. I congratulate much. the teachers on having uh, such talented students. And now uh, I'd like uh, to give a word to our students. First, Maharamli Muhammad Ali, if you can hear me, he will give us information about good health and well-being. Thank you, I hear it. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Hamad Ali Maharamo. I live in Aksu, and I study in school number four. I will talk about good health and well-being to you. And I want to share my picture. Yes. Good health and well-being. Health is not just avoiding a disease or illness. It is about physical, mental, and social well-being too. Physical health involves many aspects of life, such as sleeping well, eating well, being physically active, having good hygiene, 
and getting enough relaxation. Why is good health important? Living a healthy lifestyle can help prevent chronic diseases, disease and long-term illness. A person should think about his health first because you cannot achieve any of your goals without being healthy. How to be healthy? Limit unhealthy foods and eat healthy meals. Take multivitamin supplements. Drink water. Exercise regularly. Reduce sitting and screen time. Don't skip breakfast. Don't smoke. Get enough good sleep. Ch uh, challenge your mind. What is well-being? Relax and reduce stress. Find ways to learn and be creative. Spend time in nature. Connect with others. Look after your physical health. Make your hobby. Create interesting habits. And that's me. You can uh, see my picture here. <clears throat> this is me. I have two hobbies. They are reading and gardening. I love reading detective novels and my parents bought me some interesting novels by Agatha Christie. I read them with a great pleasure. Gardening is a wonderful habit left to me by my grandma. I love to spend the day in nature after my studies since childhood. My old parents Parents told me this, good habits, a healthy body, prolongs a person's life and makes this life happy. Let's take care of our health and enjoy the life we live. Thank you for attention. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Muhammad Ali. It was interesting. Thank you for giving us information. And uh, now you, I'd girl. like to <laughs> now I'd like to call Narmin, uh, Narmin Nuri. Uh, she has a very interesting topic about peace, justice, strong institutions, and I'm uh, very excited to hear what she has to say to us. Narmin, if, if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear. Hello, my name is Narmin. Uh, I'm from Azerbaijan, uh, Aksu region. Uh, I study in Jajarif Secondary School. Uh, I'm in the ninth grade. Uh, I will uh, speak about uh, bees, justice, and strong institutions. Sustainable Development Goal 16 is about peace, justice, and strong institutions. One of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals established by the United Nations in 2015, the official wording is promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access, for sustain, uh, provide access to justice for all and build effective accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. The goal has 12 targets to be achieved by 2030. Progress towards targets will be measured by 23 indicators. The goal has 10 outcome targets, reduce violence, protect children from abuse, exploitation, trafficking, and violence promote the rule of law and ensure equal uh, access to justice, combat organized crime and illegit financial and arms flows, substantially, substantially uh, reduce corruption and bribery, develop effective, accountable and transparent institutions, ensure responsive, inclusive and representative decision making, strengthen the participation in global governance, uh, provide universal legal identity, ensure public uh, access to information and protect fundamental freedoms. There are also two means of achieving targets. Strengthen national institutions to prevent violence and combat uh, crime and terrorism. Promote and enforce non-discriminatory laws and policies. Uh, reducing uh, violent crime, sex trafficking, forced labor, and child abuse are clear global goals. 
the international community values peace and justice. They call for stronger uh, radical systems that will enforce laws and work toward a more peaceful and just society. All women need to be able to turn to fair and effective institution to access justice and important services. We cannot hope for sustainable development without peace and stability in any country. I have finished. Okay, thank you, Narmin. Thank you for giving us information about such an interesting topic. And uh, our next student is um, Halil of Neyman. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, yes, uh, go ahead, please. The floor is yours. Hello, my name is Neyman. I am, I am Grady. I I live in Merzendia village in Shamak region. My 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 present is <clears throat> good health and well being. Health is hot. Health health is hot. Health is not measured by the present of of an in individual disease, but also limited by the physical, psychological, and social well-being of in individual. Think sport and walking present heart disease. Cereal products protect against the cancer. Eating bread, pasta, or brown rice, to brown rice four times a week reduces the risk of cancer, fruit and vegetables are important for our health. They are full of vitamins. It is important for people to eat as, ma as much as they need to give them energy. If they eat too little food or be wrong, wrong food, they won't have enough energy. That is very high in calories and so is no help at all in keeping energy balance sugar sugar isn't good for no good for the energy balance size meat poultry fish eggs beans and and nuts are good for for our body for being yes don't smoke and don't, don't drink alcohol smoking car is is Usis, cancer, heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, and chronic heart disease. Healthy, healthy habits can reduce the risk of various diseases. Having a well-balanced diet is one of the most important parts of maintaining a generally healthy body. Get regular and Consistent sleep is very important to having a generally healthy body. One of the most important parts of maintaining a generally healthy body is meeting with your doctor. Let's watch the video. healthy is something we're always encouraged to do. But how can we be healthy? It all starts with creating healthy habits. Healthy habits can make you feel stronger and happier. Think of your body and mind like a car. A car needs good quality fuel to run well. You can't put in soft drink and expect it to run smoothly, can you? Just like a car, you need to fuel your body and mind with really good, 
nourishing foods, thoughts and actions that will make it function well. But what's a habit? A habit is created when you do something repeatedly until it becomes natural. Having healthy habits can help you to feel strong, create good relationships with people around you, help you concentrate better in class, and give you the daily boost you need to do all the things you love. One of the most important healthy habits to have is healthy eating. Healthy eating is all about feeding your body fresh and nutritious foods. This should include colourful vegetables, fruits and nuts, grains, legumes, dairy and lean meats and fish. Even though all these foods are good for us, there are still some that we should eat lots of and some we should limit. We should eat lots of vegetables, legumes and grains. But we should eat lean meats, dairy and fruits and nuts in moderate amounts, which means not heaps and heaps. There are some foods that should only be a sometimes treat because they're not very good for us and have very little nutritional value, like sugary or fatty foods and drinks. And of course, we should drink plenty of water every single day. When you combine healthy foods with physical activity, it will help you to feel healthy. Did you know children your age should be active for at least 60 minutes a day? Another healthy habit is getting lots of sleep. Sleep allows us to restore, repair and rebuild all of the things in our body, including our brain. Make sure you're getting 10 hours of sleep a night and you'll find yourself feeling fresh and ready to make the most out of every day. Here are four ways you can build healthy habits. Eat the fruit and vegetable rainbow. Even though you may not be in charge of the grocery shopping, you can always make your own healthy choices. Maybe you could choose to drink water instead of a soft drink or juice when you feel thirsty. Buy a piece of fruit instead of sweets from the canteen. Or have some salad with dinner. Simple choices like that can make a huge difference to your health. Eating a variety of fruits and vegetables that are full of different colours is super important because they all help your body in different ways. So, try and have as many colours as you can every day. Sleep well. Nothing should interfere with your sleep. Not even your homework should keep you up longer than you need to be. So, make sure you plan your time well so you can complete it before bed. Try to keep a good bedtime routine. Going to bed at the same time each night is great for your body and can make going to sleep easier. Keep any phones, tablets and other devices out of your bedroom when it's bedtime. Make your bedroom a place that feels relaxing to you. This means it should be comfortable, quiet and dark when it's time to sleep. Thank you for watching and listening. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's amazing to see how our, our youth is interested in their health and it was interesting. Thank you. Uh, could you please stop sharing the screen? Stop sharing, please. And uh, uh, now uh, I'd like to give a word to our next student, Aisu. Aisu Memishova, she, she will tell us about clean water and sanitation. <laughs> my, my name is Aisu. I, I am. Uh -huh. uh, just, just a minute. Uh, stop sharing, please. Ekranı dayandırın da paylaşmayın. Şu an. Stop 
stop sharing because it's ISO's turn. Uh, I saw uh, if you are ready, you can begin and if you have a presentation, you can start uh, presenting. <laughs> Can you hear me, Aisu? Yes. Uh, so, uh, do you have a presentation? Uh, start there, please. Yes, stop sharing. Continue now. Uh, we are waiting for you, Aisu. Does she have some problem? Okay, if she has uh, problems, uh, we can. Okay, no I, problem. I can give... Okay, so please. Start. No, no, she, she ready. I think she ready. Mine. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Aisu. I am from Azerbaijan. I study at sixth grade in Mazembe village of Shamakhi region. My topic is clean water. Please let's start there. Okay, go ahead. Clean water and sanitation. Water is a symbol of cleaning. Water is a source of life. 80% of the human body is water, and two thirds of the earth is surface is water. People and other living can't live without water. What? We all deserve to live in a world where everyone has access to clean running water and sanitation. And our fresh water ecosystems are safeguarded for the future. Water is our most precious resource. It sustains life everywhere. And we all have a role to play in helping the UN achieve this goal by the year 2030. Water is the driving force of all nature. Every cell in our bodies relies on it to function as it should. Water is needed for all life on Earth. But while the surface of our planet is covered in 71% water, only a small percentage of it is safe to drink and it's unevenly distributed around the world. Demand for our water is increasing. Over the past century, our global population has tripled, yet the total water supply available remains the same. Today, over 1 billion people are unable to access clean drinking water. It affects all aspects of their lives. It forces women and children to make long, treacherous journeys for a bucket of fresh water. It allows communicable diseases like cholera and typhoid to spread where there are inadequate sanitation facilities or none at all, placing a huge strain on governments and NGOs that dedicate valuable resources to making clean water available to all. But progress is being made worldwide. Foreign aid donated by governments and humanitarian organisations like UNICEF has brought improved drinking water sources to 90% of the world's population and improved sanitation to two thirds. Innovative products like the Life Straw, a cigar shaped filter that purifies contaminated water, are making it possible for the poorest to access clean drinking water. 
and helping to eradicate guinea worm disease across the African and Asian continents. While a new invention created by the Bill Gates Foundation, the Janiki Omni Processor turns sewage into clean drinking water and renewable energy, neatly tackling sanitation, water and energy problems all at once. Simple solutions can save lives and help give everyone access to clean water and sanitation by the year 2030. And <laughs> people and other living can live without water. It is impossible to imagine nature without water. Water is sacred. What? Water is health. We need to drink a lot of water to live a healthy life. We we must keep the water clean. Living live there. We don't pollute our waters because we live on the earth. We must keep our hands clean and we must save our waters. Water covers more than 70% of Earth's surface is rising, rising water that life. On a stratted so it is not surprising that all living soils on our planet need water. Water is, in fact, many things. It, it is a vital need. A, it, is, it is a vital need a home, a local and global resource, a transport, corridor and climate, climate regulated to continue enjoying the benefits of clean water and healthy oceans and rivers. We need to fundamentally change the way we, <laughs> way we use and treat water. Thank you for watching. Wow, excellent. Uh, thank you. Thank you, dear. And, and uh, now uh, our last student, I'll give a uh, word to Mehmet Levagiv. Let me first share screen. We ran into a problem, I see. I see. Um, maybe we can uh, be next, Helena. Okay. I have to go back to my country. We're amazing speakers and waiting for me. One of our speakers is from Georgia, Avtandil. Avtandil, can you share your opinion? Let's start. <clears throat> I am Sira Bujiashvili. I am from Georgia. I am teacher at Gori Public School number 10. I would like to introduce the Georgian team, my group members, my colleague Mariam Gasikashvili, and my students, Lili Razmadze, Altandil Bakarove, Salome Menaharishvili. 
Maria, share. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank you, uh, organizers of this uh, conference. Uh, it was really amazing, and your ideas are uh, very interesting. We would like to share also our uh, opinions and ideas about environmental issues. Um, my students are involved in a, a eco club, which is in our school, and they do a great job uh, because they plan some activities to save our planet and uh, some um, uh, posters uh, to inform our community members and other students, and they try to involve them also. Uh, so they will uh, speak about uh, their activities for themselves. Uh, and good luck, my students. I will share the presentation. Uh, protect the earth from pollution. Mm -hmm. Pollution is a big problem for our environment. Our plants need help. We should make real actions to reduce litter and waste around us. To recycle and reuse, reuse old things, clothes and food. To increase awareness about using natural resources properly, we should share our experiences, work together to be better citizens. Uh, sometimes people buy things they don't really need. They throw garbage on the street. Everybody loves having picnics, but not everyone cleans the area up after living. We all are responsible for our planet. The first big problem is that people don't care care about pollution. They do nothing to make our planet a better place for living. We often, often uh, meet people who litter public places with packaging material, cigarette butts, or other waste. Most of these people believe that the waste they leave should be picked up by someone else. Well, we decided to organize Eco Club. We discussed some important issues about environmental problems, made an action plan to reduce pollution talked about our plans to our teachers and started acting. Also made research what students know about environmental problems. What's the most important environmental problem is in our school community. Firstly, we organized meetings and made presentations to raise awareness about environmental problems. Um, we made posters and put, put them on uh, the walls around the school. Also made leaflets and delivered them to the school com community, as we know the importance of school community in the low bed. Secondly, to keep our school yard uh, clean and green, uh, we uh, decided uh, to organize a uh, clean up uh, exit. Activity. Um, during the cleaning, we separated uh, two recycled uh, uh, for the litter and put them in different bins. Have not uh, forget to take a photo together. After clean up activity, we uh, plant some flowers and made greener our school garden. We enjoyed working together. Shared our experiencing. Uh, in social media. Uh, 
So the next activity was organizing workshops and trainings to learn how to make crafts from different materials. Reusing old things and designing works of art from them was really interesting. Here are some of them. Finally, the exhibition. Uh, littering can also cause... <laughs> Uh, uh, litter can also cause global warming as litter release a lot of carbon and global warming gas. Uh, global warming is very dangerous for the Earth. It is the surface of the Earth is ice melts in the Arctic. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of ice melting, the penguins and the white bears will no longer have a place to live. If the sun shines more uh, relatively, more water will evaporate from the oceans and the heavy rains will begin. Factories, uh, hydroelectric stations, and automobiles emit a lot of waste gases, soot, and dust into the air. Polluted air damages the lungs of humans and other living creatures. It causes different illness. Some types of eye pollution can even harm the mind. War and the use of explosive weapons causes air and soil pollution. So civilization should live in peace. It's also essential now for our future. Uh, pol pollution is big problem for animals and birds. They lose their habitat because people cut trees. There are lots of homeless dogs around us. They need food and shelter. We are going to start taking care about them to feed them and find shelters for them. We believe that together we can do a lot of for our planet. Thank you, Abtandil, Lili, and Salome. Thank you very much. I am, mm -hmm. I am impressed with your uh, information. What interesting information. Thank you very much, both. As for our <clears throat> next speaker from Georgia, uh, it is Li uh, Lili Radmaze. Uh, Lily, I'm looking forward to your speech. Please start. Mm. Elena, uh, this pre presentation they have done together. I end up handy. Uh huh. Okay. Three of them. Uh -huh. um, okay. Uh, Elena, we are ready. <laughs> We are yes, to share. for our next speaker from Georgia, it's time to call Nuki Gineshvili. Nuki, the stage is yours. Can you share your presentation with us, dear? Um, hello. Good evening. Um, today I will be talking to you about my presentation of sustainable development goals. My name is Nuki Gigineshvili. I'm from Georgia and I live in Bojoy. I go to a public school number six and I'm in sixth grade. Let me introduce my presentation theme, sustainable development goals. What does it mean and how to prevent the problems? How to prevent the how to prevent the how to prevent the how to prevent the problems sdgs are the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all sdgs are global goals are universal call to action and protect planet and ensure that by 2030 
all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Countries have committed to prioritize progress for those who are furthest behind. The SDGs are designed to end poverty, hunger, AIDS, and discrimination against women and girls. And as you can see, there are 17 sustainable development goals, which are an urgent call for action by all countries. Which are an urgent call by uh, all countries. Develop and developing in a global partnership. As you can see, there are stuff like no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well being, quality education. Gender, in gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and in and, okay. and, and, and infrastructure, reduced inequality, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, water, life on the land, peace, justice, and strong institutions and partnership goals. Georgia, I want, let me introduce, let me introduce you to my country and give you a short review of it. This is my country, Georgia, which is famous with its beautiful and rich flora and fauna, winter and summer resorts, 11 incredible natural hot springs, mineral pools, and there are 22 national parks, which is available in every season of the year. Delicious food and people who are always welcome guests from another countries. And this is the Caucasus Mountain. There are also uh, wonderful lakes and waterfalls. This is the Eiffel Bridge in Bojomi. And here's a fun fact. If you know the Eiffel Tower in France, the people who built it also built the Eiffel Bridge in Bojomi here. And there's also a winter resort in Bagoriani, which I recommend you visit. There is also a national park called Mtirala, Mtirala and an Okays waterfall. And this is the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi. Um, I live in one of these most beautiful resorts, Bojomi. And is known with its, with its different and rich flora and fauna, which is mentioned in the Red Book. Here are several kinds of mineral waters and national parks. Tourists always visit Bojomi in every season of the year. There is Winter Resort Bakuriani, where the World Championship will be held in 2023. And this is our sofa pools and mineral water called Bojomi. So I've introduced my country and my city in a short mode. There are so many problems which can be settled, but human influence is so deep and wide scale that it causes many problems, not for only health, but for wildlife. And these problems are the results of carelessness and inattentiveness. So I chose this problem to speak and try to find ways to solve it. I want to speak about problems which are urgent, not for only my country, but for the whole world. Let's speak about 13th goal, which describes urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Climate change is the real problem for human being. It may cause serious damage for the planet. For example, ice melting in Antarctica, floods in several countries, air pollution, water pollution, etc. Um, I want to show the problem of nature in my city. Here is Bojomi, which you already know is famous with its green mountains and springs. And here it is after the Russian Georgian War in 2008, when the Russians spread the forests. As you can see, this was a tragedy. As you can see, there are no green trees, animals, birds, green valley. After this tragedy appeared, strong wind, which was never existed before, air pollution, the, the small springs have are dried. And this fire was near the people's houses and some of them were really in danger. There was serious air pollution, smoke and ashes was spread in whole city. Also, in 2022, in summer, there were several spots of fire in forests. Also, in Borjomik Araguri National Park, damage was serious, and firemen tried to evacuate the fire for 20 days. 
Mm, cutting down trees is necessary to produce wood, wood for construction, paper, and other applications. But logging and other activities that kill trees can potentially lead to negative impacts on ecosystems and the environment. The destructions of trees may therefore encourage global warming. Changing temperature can alter which organisms can survive in an ecosystem. As you already know, in Borjomi, there are several kinds of mineral waters, which is good for gastrointestinal systems, kidneys. Borjomi is mineral water of volcanic origin, which by natural standard is over 1,500 years old. Cutting down the trees affects not only on the oxygen in the air or climate changes, but it can also change the composition of spring waters or cause drying the springs. I want to show the place where you can drink mineral water for free. So at the end, I want to say that our main plan is to recover the destroyed forest, plant as much trees as we can, take care of the forest and give it a chance to take care of us. And the something is the beginning of great new. Thank you for your attention. Wow. Your Emma's English showed us how beautiful Georgia and uh, Georgia's problem. It was really amazing. Thank you very much for such an unforgettable and amazing presentation. I was really interested in your presentation. Thank you very much. You're now we have to now we have to go back to Azerbaijan and then speaker uh, dear Salala will introduce us. Yes, we are ready to share now. Uh, like if we talk about uh, SDG 7, uh, clean energy, I'll give, uh, I'll leave the floor to him. Hi, my name is Vagif. I am from Azerbaijan and I study in the 80th grade. Today I'm gonna give you information about the Go 7 clean energy. Go 7 is about increasing access to clean and affordable energy. This goal is key to the development of agriculture, business, communications, education, medicine, transportation, and high technology. The lack uh, of access to energy can slow down economic and human development. Based uh, on the last date, it can be seen that the piece of progress is not fast enough to achieve goal seven by 2030. Four billion people, people still use environment and piloting cooking systems, the share of renewable in total uh, final energy compassion is only um, 70.7%. 70, 70 Still uh, 700 uh, 33 million people are without electricity. Informational, international, uh, financial flows to developing countries for renewable decline. Uh, why should we care about the goal seven? For many decides. Fossil fuels such as coal, oil, or gas have been major sources of electricity production, but burning them produces greenhouse uh, gases which cause climate change and have negative effects on people's health and the environment. Global electricity use is rising 
krepirli. Without a stable electricity supply, countries will not be able to power their economies. What can we do to fix these issues? Countries can transit to an affordable, reliable, and sustainable energy system. Energy system invest to renewable energy resources, adopt green energy technologies. Business can protect uh, ecosystems by meeting their electricity from renewable sources. Employers can use less energy intensive modes such as train travel instead of auto, of auto and air travel. We can save electricity by turning off the uh, lights when we leave home or do not use devices. We can bike, walk, or take public transport to reduce carbon emissions. Do not use one use batteries. Azerbaijan's green policy. More than 90% of all electricity Azerbaijan is generated by burning natural gas. Hydropower plants and alternative energy sources account for 6% of the generated electricity. Why Azerbaijan has high potential for renewable energy sources, wind wind energy, solar energy, bioenergy, and energy of mountain rivers. Uh, with the support of Asian Bank, the installation of floating solar panels system on Boyuxor Lake was planned. The project is planned to be completed by March 2023. Project 2. In, in 2021, the Ministry of Energy and BP signed a memorandum according to which is planned to prepare a master plan. The master plan will cover clean energy projects, low carbon transport, green build buildings, waste management, clean industry, natural climate solutions, and so on. In 2021, an agreement was signed between the Ministry of Energy and Japan's company, TEPCO, to create netto zero emission zone in the liberated territories. Azerbaijan has set a target to maintain a 35% reduction in greenhouse gas emission by 2030. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Amazing presentation. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. So you we much. came to an end of another great event. Thank you. And our conference is coming to end. And for today, our last speaker is Elena Chaize, who will close our conference. Elena, you can uh, present your presentation. Can Thank you hear you. me? Yes, of course. Yeah, let's start.
I can't hear you, Elena. Microphone charted. Elena, microphone chart. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, of course. Thanks. Uh, the cultural vari variety of the countries. I am Elena Chaita, seventh grade student of the uh, 15th Public School of Rostavi City. Project leader and tutor is Lali Khaduri, and English leader is and English teacher is Dali Marapeli. The Sustainable Development Goals are a set of 17 goals and 169 targets agreed by all UN member states with the aim to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. They address the global challenges we face, including those related to poverty, inequality, climate, environmental degradation prosperity, and peace and justice. The goals interconnect and in order to leave no one behind, it is important that we achieve each goal and target by 2030. In order to achieve tolerance, that's why such projects give us an opportunity to, to discover different cultures and learn about sustainable development. Now I will present to you. First group is China. Members are Elena Davitadze, Tako Piladze, Nikolas Dvali, and Georgi Nikadze. This group presented a model of the Great Wall of China in their presentation. Also, they danced a traditional Chinese dance. Uh, sec the second group is Ukraine. Members are Anastasia Menakadze, Nan Gakhartishvili, Georgi Devdaridze, Georgi Nikatsadze, and Temur Meladze. We were focused on Ukraine because it is against Russia. People presented a project and a small activity. Also, they wrote a letter to Ukrainian pupils. Hi, I am from Georgia. I already know your situation, and that's why I write this letter. I want to say, stay strong. Nothing is impossible. Soon everything will be okay. Do not forget that you are not alone. That's a lot of people who blindly trust you and support you because they believe you. So believe in yourself. Do not give up and do not lose hope. I'm done. I hope this letter encouraged you. Uh, Korea. Members are Tekla Njikladze, Elena Chaidze, Anata Tunashvili, and Lizzie Kabunia. Pupils presented a poster and a dance. Uh, they talked about Korean culture, their economy, uh, their traditional food, and so on. Um, then India. Members Nicholas Mechevelli, Tatia Loladze, Maria Mushkodiani, and Nazura uh, Shoni and uh, Elena Tsukilashvili. They presented a model of Taj Mahal, poster and the clothes of the Indian woman. Uh, and for last, our country, Georgia. Members Lizzy Kokia, Saba Gelashvili, Mate Barbakadze, Demetri Murchikneli, and Saba uh, Majarashvili. Georgia's group presented a model of Georgia, a presentation, and does the national Georgian dance. Uh, this is one uh, scenes from the dance. And this is um, Georgia's uh, model. Thanks for your attention and good luck. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for such an amazing presentation. It's really seemed like your work. It was very interesting. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Dear Elena, dear Elena, we have one more student. We for forgot about her. Okay. <laughs> can we give a, a word to her? Khadija, Khadija Mustafaeva, can you hear me? Yes. Please go, go ahead. Hello everyone from Georgia and from Azerbaijan. I'm Khadid, my name is Khadija. I'm from Azerbaijan in Aksu region. Uh, today I'm talking about good health and well-being. Because I think everyone should pay attention to their health. And health is very important. 
for people to do it, and sometimes people don't do it or don't want to do it. For health, people should pay attention to their food and lifestyle. Many people think that being healthy is a difficult task that involves lots of dieting and time on the, at the gym, but that's not actually true. By supporting your body and mind, mind uh, making some simple to fix your routine, uh, small goals for yourself, you can be on the path toward living a healthier, happier life. Start a daily habit of making healthier choices when it comes to eating, relaxing, being active, and sleeping. Soon you will see your health, life taking shape. A person should have a lot of useful substances such as vitamins and proteins, etc., are good for health. In addition, a person should also drink two or three liters of water during a day. Uh, and if a person wants to look fit and be healthy, he or she can do different exercises such as cycling, running, swimming, etc. Exercising is a physical activity in which body makes exertion in order to physical fitness and health. By doing exercises, it's not, not the main slow and simple walk. However, it has to be in a way that the body, body starts sweating. For instance, running and cycling are important exercises for the human should to ensure keeping the body healthy and fit. Uh, find uh, some time about uh, about. Uh, 30 minutes for a day to the exercise. In the exercise the mental health, at it improves memory, helps to sleep better, and alternative stress. Uh, in the article, the mental health benefits of exercise. The other indicates that doing simple exercise can make difference. Everyone. Uh, likes to stay uh, and fit, but ev but not everyone is. Staying healthy is important for a happy, happy life without worries about the health. It helps the human stress cause worse. Health is eating. And if you want to be healthy, you should eat. Don't eat junk food. Junk food is fast food, and junk food is not not good your health. Um, uh, junk, for example, hamburger, pizza, potato free, uh, chips are uh, junk food. Uh, that's all. The rules of health are simple and in the fact it's not difficult to follow them. Let's take care of our health and be healthy. Thank you for listening. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you so much. I think we finished today. Excellent, amazing, unforgettable conference. Congratulate again. Great job. Great. Thank you so much, dear Shalale. Tell something. My pleasure, dear. dear. Can you hear me? Thank you so much. Uh, my pleasure, dear. <laughs> it yes. was amazing, really. Your students rock today. Congratulations, Azerbaijan. Always. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for excellent job. Keep up a good and very important job. Thank you. Dear Nada, can you hear me, dear? Uh, yes, yes, I hear you. It was a great conference. IIU youth rock today, Elena rock, and all the students and teachers. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Ellen, I think finished today conference. Yeah, Georgia and Azerbaijan rock today. The youth of the whole world listen to the voice of the European youth and together we will until the whole world.
together we will fight to solve problems. Today, in the 21st century, we see many, many problems and the 17 goals of sustainable development. Many thanks to all the inspiring young speakers from Georgia and from Azerbaijan. Special thanks to Mr. Pish Pandit, who created a unique university and united the whole world. Many thanks to the project director, Ms. Inga, who also united the European youth. And thank you, Ms. Nada. I want to wish you all success. Yes, I believe that we will close many good things together. IIU is a change. IIU brings a change. IIU is a revolution.